The OpenMo team just revealed the secrets of ChatGPT5 that no one ever knew they would reveal. This is truly groundbreaking news. So make sure to watch this video until the end because it's filled with so many insane revelations about ChatGPT. You don't want to miss this. It's me. Welcome to my channel where we talk about artificial intelligence, data science, and machine learning every single day. Today, we are going to talk about ChatGPT again. But before we get into that, please consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. Now, let's get started. The first thing that I found fascinating is that ChatGPT has access to Google search results up to September 2021. This was kept secret from us for quite some time, but now we know that it's true. And when I asked ChatGPT about it, it told me that it does not have access to real-time information or the internet, which is why it cannot provide information on events after its knowledge cutoff date. However, I wanted to test this, so I decided to ask it a few more questions. First, I asked it what is the capital of France? It responded that the capital of France is Paris. Then I asked it what is the capital of Iraq? It responded that the capital of Iraq is Baghdad. Finally, I asked it what is the capital of Italy, and it responded that the capital of Italy is Rome. All of these countries have capitals that were established long, before September 2021, so it should have known the answers to these questions without needing to access Google search results. However, this is where things get interesting. In each of those responses, ChatGPT included a link to a website called nwikipedia.org. This is a Wikipedia link, and it seems like ChatGPT is using Wikipedia to find its answers instead of Google search results. This is very interesting because Wikipedia is not updated in real time either. The last time I checked, the latest Wikipedia dump that ChatGPT could be using is from February 23. This means that even though it claims to not have access to real time information or the internet, it must be able to access some static websites that are not updated in real time, such as Wikipedia. Otherwise, it would not be able to answer any questions about anything that happened after. February 2023. The second secret that was revealed is that ChatGPT has memory. Now, this isn't like your typical memory where it remembers everything you tell it. In fact, it only remembers the last 25 messages between you and the chatbot. And this can be turned off anytime by saying turn off memory or clear memory. When this happens, the chat history window will clear and the chatbot will start treating each message independently. But if you turn it off, it will not remember who you are or anything about your previous conversations. It will simply respond to your current message without any context from the past. This can be useful if you want to have a fresh start with a chatbot or if you want to test its knowledge on a specific topic without any biases from previous conversations. But it also means that you need to be very specific with your prompts, because the chatbot will not remember what you talked about in the last few messages. You need to include all the necessary information in each prompt. This can make the conversation feel a bit repetitive, but it is also an important reminder that the chatbot is not a human and it does not have the same kind of memory or understanding as a person. The third secret that was revealed is that ChatGPT can be used to write computer programs and solve complex problems. For example, when I asked it to write a program that prints the numbers 1 through 100, it did it without an issue. It also provided comments to explain each step of the code, which was very helpful for someone who might be learning how to code. But it doesn't stop there. I then asked it to write a program that uses a list of numbers and calculates their average. Once again, it delivered exactly what I was looking for. And when I asked it to write a program that simulates a simple game of rock, paper, scissors against the computer, it nailed it once again. These are not easy tasks, and yet ChatGPT was able to complete them flawlessly which really shows its potential as a tool for learning and exploring computer programming. However, it's important to remember that ChatGPT is still just a tool. 
it's not a substitute for actually learning how to code or solving problems on your own. By using ChatGPT, you can get quick solutions to your coding problems, but you'll also get the opportunity to learn from its explanations and examples. This can help you develop your problem-solving skills and become a better programmer over time. The fourth secret that was revealed is that ChatGPT can be used to generate different types of creative content like poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email, letters, etc. For example, when I asked it to write a poem about the beauty of nature, it generated a beautiful four-line poem that captures the essence of nature's grandeur. It wrote a code to check if a given number is prime. It also wrote a script for a short film about a robot who learns to feel emotions. It wrote a musical piece in the style of Mozart and much more. These examples show just how versatile ChatGPT is and how it can be used to explore and experiment with different creative possibilities. The fifth secret that was revealed is that ChatGPT can do calculations. In my case, I asked it to calculate the area of a circle with a radius of 5, and it gave me the answer of 78.54. I then asked it to calculate the square root of 64, and it answered 8. I also asked it to calculate the factorial of 5, and it told me the answer is 120. And finally, I asked it to convert 100 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, and it gave me the answer of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. These are pretty basic calculations, but it's still impressive that ChatGPT is able to perform them accurately and quickly. It can be a handy tool for anyone who needs to do quick calculations, but it's important to keep in mind that it is still a machine. Learning algorithm at the end of the day, and it relies on patterns in the training data to make its predictions. So it's always a good idea to double check the results and use common sense when interpreting them. The sixth and final secret that I want to talk about today is that ChatGPT can summarize text. This can be really helpful if you re feeling lazy or if you just want to get the main points without reading the whole thing. For example, I asked it to summarize the plot of Harry Potter and it gave me a nice concise summary of the whole series. I then asked it to summarize the plot of Avengers Endgame, and it did a great job of summarizing the movie. I also asked it to summarize the plot of the latest Star Wars movie, and it gave me a good overview of the main events without giving away any spoilers. This is definitely a useful feature, and I can see it being especially helpful for people who are short on time or who prefer to consume information quickly. But it is important to keep in mind that the quality of the summary will depend on the quality of the writing and the complexity of the text. Sometimes ChatGPT can make mistakes or leave out important details, so it's always a good idea to read the original text as well. So there you have it, the six most shocking secrets of ChatGPT that I never thought I would see. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment below with your thoughts. And if you want to keep learning about artificial intelligence, data science, and machine learning, then check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.